asking, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know the Mercedes-Benz Ecova. Now this has got to be one of the most beautiful cars out there. It's curvier, it's sexier than the e-salon. It's just lovely to look from the outside and it's lovely to look from the inside but what I want to know if it's just as lovely to drive. So it's time to hit the road now. Life is funny and sometimes strange It's a lot turns out the way you think You're my music but you tear me to pieces So where does it come from? A scene that keeps playing on repeat Ignores the rule of thumb Oh where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart on your sleeve It won't fade until you paint it black I let it burn, you call the fire brigade But I feel that it will come back Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? E400, isn't this just fabulous? We've got the 3 litre V6 engine which produces 333 horsepower, 0 to 100, 5.3 seconds right. Now, this is a big body, 2000 kilograms to push along. Fuel consumption, interesting situation. On the motorway, we're looking at 8 to 11 litres. But in the city, it's shocking, up to 18 liters. So, tootling around town is going to cost you a little bit of money. Now, this is an amazing Mercedes-Benz, is it? No, it's not. Now, the gearbox. In the comfort mode, everything works ever so smoothly and seamlessly. You just lightly brush your foot on the accelerator and the car gives you a nice little poke to get you moving. Now, in the sports mode, let's put it onto sport, things aren't as smooth. As soon as you put it on, the suspension firms up, and when you put your foot down, you feel a little bit of a pull, you hear a little bit of a bark coming out of the engine, and I think it's also coming out of the speakers. Is that right, Mercedes-Benz? Have you done this? Mm, is this supposed to make me feel better? Well, it does. It makes you feel big and strong in the Mercedes-Benz. But if you want to go fast around the corners, you will not be impressed. The car sort of... The body is so big and it just sort of tends to roll. Yet, it isn't the kind of unpleasant nervous rolling but in general if you put it in sports mode you will get tired if you're going slow but question is does the e-class coupe have aspirations to be the king of the racetrack well no it doesn't we've got the mg for this job this gives you luxury this gives you comfort over agility certainly it's easy to complain but it's actually not so easy to build a beautiful and big coupe. Once upon a time, Mercedes had the C124. Now, that was a delightful car to look at and still is today. But ever since then, Mercedes just didn't get it quite right, did it? Well, the things have changed. We've got the e coupe and it's just amazing. Serious Mercedes Benz, isn't it? Now, this model, this generation, is based on the e saloon because the previous one was based on the C class. Being based on e saloon, what does this mean? It means that the body is bigger, you've got more space, but despite all that, it's 100 kilograms lighter. 
of the model it replaces. Now, if you're driving long distances on the motorway, I mean, you will absolutely love this car. The suspension, it does some magic here. You can't feel a single bump. It's just like floating on the top of the cloud. It's lovely. There's no noise coming through from the outside, except for the noise the engine noise of the speakers. A little bit of that. The seats are lush and comfortable. I mean, this is like being on another planet. It's like being in a spa. So while you're getting pampered in the spa, you can play with the entertainment system, the touch controls, which by the way, do take a bit of time to get your head around, especially a blonde head like mine. In terms of visibility, well, the rear window is rather small. So the view is a little bit obscured and you have that thick, pillar here but what you also have is this you've got no pillar between the front and rear side window so you can just be cruising around town with your windows down this is what you desire before we finish up let's talk money this car costs just over 78,000 Swiss francs in Switzerland. Now it's just so easy to get carried away with all the options out there. Realistically speaking, you do need about 100,000 Swiss francs to have nicely spiked E400. Now, with this in mind, in all the other elements I've looked at, I still think it's a win. I mean, it's absolutely stunning to look at. Beautiful. It's super comfortable. You know, you've got plenty of power when you need it but bear in mind if you want to be cruising around town it will cost you a little bit of money but you know if your dream has always been to drive this big sumptuous mercedes-benz look no further i mean i love it what's better than just cruising around in a beautiful merc and on that i'd like to thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye